while we may have more still to endure, better days will return, we will be with our friends again, we will be with our families again, we will meet again. It's worth remembering that it is often the small steps, not the giant leaps, that bring about the most lasting change. When peace comes, remember it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. I cannot lead you into battle, I do not give you laws or administer justice but I can do something else, I can give you my heart and my devotion to these old islands and to all the peoples of our brotherhood of nations. You've all seen pictures of the Earth taken from space. Unlike all the other planets in the solar system, Earth shimmers green and blue in the sunlight and looks a very pleasant place to live. Right around the world, people gather to compete under standard rules and, in most cases, in a spirit of friendly rivalry. Competitors know that, to succeed, they must respect their opponents, very often, they like each other too. Religion and culture are much in the news these days, usually as sources of difference and conflict, rather than for bringing people together. But the irony is that every religion has something to say about tolerance and respecting others. The birth of a baby brings great happiness but then the business of growing up begins. When life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat, instead, they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. Over the years, those who have seemed to me to be the most happy, contented and fulfilled have always been the people who have lived the most outgoing and unselfish lives. It is through this lens of history that we should view the conflicts of today, and so give us hope for tomorrow. The importance of family has, of course, come home to Prince Philip and me personally this year with the marriages of two of our grandchildren, each in their own way a celebration of the God-given love that binds a family together. Although we are capable of great acts of kindness, history teaches us that we sometimes need saving from ourselves from our recklessness or our greed. In times of doubt and anxiety the attitudes people show in their daily lives, in their homes, and in their work, are of supreme importance. We may hold different points of view but it is in times of stress and difficulty that we most need to remember that we have much more in common than there is dividing us. Perhaps we make too much of what is wrong and too little of what is right. The trouble with gloom is that it feeds upon itself and depression causes more depression. Our modern world places such heavy demands on our time and attention that the need to remember our responsibilities to others is greater than ever. Each day is a new beginning. I know that the only way to live my life is to try to do what is right, to take the long view, to give of my best in all that the day brings, and to put my trust in God. I believe that, young or old, we have as much to look forward to with confidence and hope as we have to look back on with pride. Though we each lead different lives, the experience of growing older, and the joys and emotions which it brings, are familiar to us all. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video, share this to your friends and subscribe the channel for more contents.